Welcome to Sandrock. I'm Mayor Cobb. How are you, sir? Chief Naraha. Chief. It's a pleasure. Hi, Hank Brackett. Hi, Hank Brackett. I'm Johnny Reach, ma'am. Liz Blake, Mr. Reach. What are you doing here, Liz? I'm in the oil business, and I just got burned out. Oh. People were killed. Oh. Dynamite, fires. Six producing oil wells up in flames. Men were wiped out. And I got stuck with all their leases. You see, I backed them. Now I'm holding all this oil land that's worth a flat nothing. Any idea who did it? One man was killed and two wounded by Indian arrows. Indian arrows? An Indian attack in the 20th century? Crazy, eh? Well, that's what we thought. So we hired two toughs, made them deputies. Now, one got snake bit in his bed by a rattler, the other got himself strangled. We can't hire deputies anymore for any price. Now, they're scared to come to this town. And who are you, sir? I'm Ben Shamrock. I've heard of you. I back Liz's notion to bring you in, on your terms. Oh, not exactly, Ben. I coerced you. But anyway, your terms are stiff. Now, let's see. A blank check. Signed. And if you're successful, you fill in any amount. Town really doesn't look that prosperous, sir. Oh, it will be. I hope so, Liz. We used dynamite to blow out the fire. The explosion collapsed the well casing. It cost a lot of money to drill again. But you know you've got oil, don't you? Yeah, but my lease runs out in less than 30 days. And I can't get a drilling crew for less than triple wages. They're all scared. I've already borrowed money against the lease from Ben Shamrock, and I can't ask him for more. So I'm just about tapped out unless you get those renegades. We'll do our considerable best. Where'd the attack come from, Johnny? The base over there. How do you know? Well, fire arrows have a short range. The base is the closest cover. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll make my way up from here. Once you drive the studs around the back and see if you can make some traces. Right. Yeah. You look beautiful. <laughs> it's a pretty funny thing to say to me. I'm certainly going to say it to you. All right, we're beautiful. And we were, Hank Brackett, you and me. What about now? Now there's Ben Shamrock. You met him in town. Shall I tell you about him? If you want to. Well, we met down in Houston. He drifted there from this town. Uh, th yeah, this town. I kind of wanted to talk to you about that. Pretty awful, isn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Once it was one of the richest in the state. Coal. And then the coal ran out. People drifted away. It was almost a ghost town. Till the oil, now they've come back to it. And Shamrock brought you back with him. All right. I came back with him. Did you come back for him? Or did you come back for the oil? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I always did forget men easily, you know that. Yeah, you're always kind of a gypsy. Yet I never forgot about you. Well, tell me how much you remember. No. Because if I did, I'd be furious with you for having everything and walking away. Oh, Liz. What? I had to walk away. You're beautiful, Hank, but you're stupid. And I'm stupid, too. Have you come back? You mean to us? I don't know. Well, you figure it out. <laughs> and while I'm figuring, I've got to save your oil well, huh? Yeah, for both of us. Bribing me, Elizabeth? <laughs> Anything you want. <laughs> no chance. Well, that's why we broke up last time. You're a moral man. I hope so. Want to come walk with me on the Mesa? No, not really. I think I'll stay here. You saved my place? All right. 